Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. Today, I'm just in the mood to record while I do my makeup. And I haven't even washed my face this morning. I haven't taken off my eye mascara or anything like that. I'm bad and I sleep in my makeup a lot. I'll just go ahead and be honest with you. Um, I'm sure I would have even, you know, beautiful skin if I took the time to pamper it at night. Took it time. Took the time to pamper it in the morning, but... You know, I never do that. I mean, I do every once in a while. Probably, I probably take off my, but I don't wear a lot of makeup. I usually put on makeup on Sunday morning. And if I go out, sometimes I do. It's going to, if Chris is in a hurry, okay? Um, I think I want to go to the grocery store today. I want to clean out my closet today. I've got to get rid of a lot of clothes like Chris did a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I wanted to try on my stuff from Belks to show you guys. So I thought I'd fix my makeup. There's a couple of new pieces that I've got that I really like. And so I thought I'd do that today live. So the first thing I'm going to do is use what I like to use to take off my makeup. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put my hair back a little bit and um, show you guys what I use. Because there are a couple of things that I have found that I'm beginning to really like. Okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a couple of cotton balls. I like to use cotton balls, okay? So I buy a lot of them, and I always get the jumbo or the big ones. Um, and I get them wherever I'm at, you know. don't make any difference to me. But this is what I like to take off my makeup with. The bad thing about me videoing this is that it's going to be backwards, y'all. Um, the only thing I could do it different is if I flip it like this to show you the product. And that way it's not backwards. That is what I like to take off my makeup with. It's not real greasy or anything like that. And um, I just like the way it feels on my skin. So I'll just flip the camera around and show y'all stuff so that y'all don't have to see it backwards, okay? Um, so I just squeeze this onto a cotton ball. It doesn't burn my eyes or anything. And then I use it to take off my makeup. It works really good. It doesn't burn. It's not greasy. So a, a lot of things that take off my makeup, I used to use Abilene, which I still like, but I can't use it unless it's at nighttime because it's so greasy that if you use it in the morning, it'll make your makeup kind of bleed and stuff around your eyes because of the kind of it's greasy, you know? So um, I just use this now. I don't even use Abilene anymore. So I just get up and use this and that's what I do. I am going to show y'all what I've been, several things I've been doing lately, just so that y'all can see and spend some time with me this morning, okay? Still getting stuff off. I have a lot of stuff on my eyes. And then I do my eyebrows because I like to put a little bit of color into my eyebrow to make it stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to take it off my eyebrows and then I'm just going to use a wet washcloth and wipe off my face, okay? You can see what I had on my eyebrows. Okay. I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. So I can't see. I guess y'all can see me good. Okay. So that's our makeup taken off. Now I am going to wet a wash rag and wash my face. I can't see your comments. Uh, because I don't have my glasses on, but I can kind of see your names, okay? And then I just wash it with some hot water. And I probably shouldn't, but I do. Because I don't like cold stuff. Okay? Now, I'm not going to put on this makeup, this uh, lotion that I've been using, because... It has to have time to dry. So, like, if I put the lotion on in the mornings... When I get out of the shower, I have to have time to take my makeup off. Um, I mean, I have to have time to let it dry before I can apply my makeup. Uh, you can see my my face was dirty. Yeah, I slept like that. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Now, this is what I like to use when I get out of the shower. Um... It is called Ocean Potion Everglow, and it just gives you a little bit of color in seven days. I don't use it all the time, but I use it enough 
just to have a little bit of color because I'm really pale, okay? So I put it on my face and I put it on my neck and my chest and my arms. Now in the summer, you could put it on your legs. There's really no need this time of year to do that. Um, I like it. It doesn't look real orange or anything. It's cheap. It's not expensive. Um, and I really need to put some links on my website. I need to do that so that you guys can see my favorites because everything I use is pretty affordable, okay? I am not a high-maintenance woman at all. I do my own hair. I cut my own hair. I color my own hair. And um, I'm just not a high-maintenance lady. Now, the, most thing, the thing I spend the most money on is probably my nails, okay? And I don't always do that. Let's see. What's next? Under my makeup, the first thing I do normally is put on some moisturizer. And I do have to say that I like Mary Kay moisturizer. Now, Mary Kay has a line that's, um, it has this eye cream, the day moisturizer, the night moisturizer, um, the wash for your face, and it works really good, y'all. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm missing something. Yeah, and the serum. They have a serum, too, if you like serums. Okay, and it's pricey. Uh, so, I use it not every day because it costs a lot, okay? Uh, so, I use it like just when I want to pamper myself, kind of. I put this in the shower a lot with the little scrubber that you use on your face. And if you don't have one of those, they sell them really expensive through these bigger companies. But if you go to Bell's or Ross or Marshall's, you can pick up those little hand facial wash things for probably $10 or $15 at the most. And I'll show you when I come out. I keep mine in the shower because that's where I like to wash my face with my cleanser is in the shower. So this is it, and it spins, and I put the um, I put this wash on it, and it suds up real pretty and good. But I, it makes kind of a mess, and it's hard to rinse my face when it's like that. So I do it in the shower. All right, so let's put on a little moisturizer. I don't like to get the day moisturizer around my eyes because it has sunscreen in it and it burns them. So the first thing I do is I use um, a night cream. And I don't use the expensive stuff, not night cream. I use an eye cream and I don't use their expensive line that comes in that kit. I use this and I just use it around my eyes. I'll show it to you. This is kind of like my everyday eye cream. Sorry, I can't be real still. So I use it around my eyes. And then I put the moisturizer on the rest of my face and that way I won't get the moisturizer in my eyes. Lots of times I'll go ahead and use this above my lips because I have terrible lip lines. And I know it's from drinking out of straw because I love to drink out of straws, and I have my whole life. Um, and now we're gonna put on our moisturizer. But there's a couple of new products. None of these are my new products that I wanted to show you, but I just want y'all to see them, okay? So y'all bear with me. We're gonna put this on first. And I usually try to get it down my neck some. But I will say if I use the Everglow, I don't go ahead and put on another moisturizer. I just don't, okay? So if I'm getting out of the shower, I've already washed my face with my face wash. I put on that Everglow, and that I pretty much go with that. But if I'm like today, and I haven't been in the shower, and I just need to wash my face and put something on, this is what I use. All right, so my favorite, I really like this. It is by uh, Benefit. And I'm going to show you why I like it. Um, let me show you what it looks like. And it's kind of orange looking. But it's supposed to be for your darker circles. So this is what I do. And I think I am going to make some links for y'all. Because some of this stuff I really like. It's not expensive. Now this I use this applicator brush with. And I use this to cover up my dark spots, OK? 
Okay. And I have had different brands and stuff. Now, I don't have real black eyes like my sister. My sisters are so dark. She really does. She looks like a raccoon. Uh, but I don't have them that dark. Uh, but I do have some really dark spots. So I just take this and I put it right where the dark spots are. Wait a minute. I got something right here on my eye. Y'all know what that is. You know what you call them? Eye boogers. <laughs> eye boogers. All right, now I'll put a little bit of this underneath. And then I usually put some here and here in the corner. And I don't swipe it. I just dab it, okay? And so I do both my eyes like this. I'm going to try to use this as kind of a mirror to go by. Put some here. Put some here. And then I have an age spot right up here, so I usually hit it a little bit. Um, I used to have an age spot right here, but it is actually faded, which is good. I don't know why it did, but it did. It's still there, actually. You can see it, but it's not as dark as it used to be. I guess I can put a little on it. Okay, so now, that's kind of pricey because it's been a fit. My favorite foundation and I bought all kinds spent plenty of money and not plenty of money my favorite by far is wet and wild four dollars dollar general I love it works great um let me show y'all this and when we were out there um in LA I had laying comb and different things but these are my go-to's okay I love them. They smell just like paint. They really do. They smell like paint. So if you like to paint your house and you like the smell of paint, then you will like this. Um, and I use a darker um, on the sides of my face. And it comes with a paddle. So I just take it and I put some here and some here. And I usually put a little bit here and here. And then I take the lighter color and I put it here, 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 and a little above my lips, okay? Because I have thin lips, so I try to make them look bigger. Now, I just use one of these handheld brushes and I blend it. And I start with the dark first and end with the light, okay? So... Let me see if I can zoom y'all in a little bit so y'all can see it better. Okay, so I'll start with the dark first. And get in front of your ear. I can't see without a mirror, y'all. What I'm doing. Get up in here with the darker and here. And I forgot that I had a couple of little bumps right here. So maybe I should use the concealer a little bit on them. Okay. So now we do the light. I start with the top. Come down, usually go right here with it and here. And then I come down here. And when you're putting on your makeup, make sure you get it blended right here. What I like about these brushes is that you can just hold them with your finger right here you don't have to get makeup all over your hands. They do a good job blending. Uh, let me look at myself close up to make sure I haven't missed any major spots. Oh, under my eyes. I forgot to put the light under my eyes, y'all. I'm crazy. You gotta, you gotta cover up that pink. Where 
not going to let me forget. <laughs> All right, let's do this. And you don't want to rub it too hard, it'll rub the concealer off, okay? Just blend it good. Now, I have puffy eyes this morning, but I'm not going to do anything about them because I don't want to fool with it. But if you're concerned about puffy eyes and you're really vain and you just got to do something. Here, let me do this. Let me, I like to take you tips and clean up my eye boogers. Okay. Anyway, they have an eye cream that is for puffiness and stuff that's Mary Kay that I use. And I just squeeze a little bit out. Even after I put on my makeup, I do it sometimes. And I just apply it right where my puffy part is. But I'm not going to put it on the other side. I'm just going to put it on this one and see if we can even tell a difference. Since it's morning. They're always puffier in the morning, ain't they? Okay. Let's see. My favorite powder for your face is... Translucent Mary Kay. It's real thin and it doesn't cake up on your face. And so I like it. It's really white and translucent. And the, so the next thing I do is I put on my blush. Now you can use a powder blush or you can use a stick blush. I've been using stick blush for the last few days just because, you know, I just I just do things in spurts. It's cheap. It's from, it's uh, Palladio. It's the same thing as like wet and wild and stuff like that in a stick. And you can just put it right here on your cheeks. And then I, ta <clears throat> I take a another brush that I designate for blush. And I blend it in. So, if y'all want something fun for Christmas, if y'all going to get anything that I like, them, I love these things. I love them. And they're cheap, and you get a whole set. All different sizes. I love them. Okay, so after I put on my blush, I powder. Um, and if you powder, it helps your makeup stay on all day. Keeps it in place, and you don't really have to use like a setting spray or anything. So, I powder... And if you're going to use a powder, I bought Revlon the other day, and it's so thick. When I put it on under my eyes, it just looked terrible. And I love Revlon stuff, but I didn't like their powder. So you got to be careful with your powder and get something that's really, really thin when you're older. Or it's going to just make you look older. Because it's going to get in all those cracks and crevices and just make you look terrible. Okay? It's good to use it, but you got to make sure you get a thin one. Okay, next, let's do eyeshadow. I used to never do eyeshadow, but now I do. I like MAC. I like, this is something I pay for, more money for. This is a palette that I like that is theirs. It's a MAC, and I'll show you the colors. Um, and I really like them this time of year. And then I also like this palette, and this is Morphe, that you get at Ulta. Uh, and it has the fall colors and the, and the golds in it. And it has the shiny golds in it, which I really like. So let's do, let's do fall colors today, just because they're fun. And I never, uh-oh, I'm sorry. I never wore eyeshadow until I had cancer. And I didn't have eyelashes, and so I started, like, trying to make my eyes look prettier. And so I learned how to put on eyeshadow. Um, my sister came over the other day, and she was like, when did you start wearing eyeshadow all the time? I said, 
when I got cancer. Uh, now, I'm not, I'm cancer free, but I, I, that's just kind of when I started wearing it, okay? So, I like these three brushes right here to do my eyeshadow. I got them at Walmart. Um, you can get them online or anywhere. I believe they're Earth. That's the brand. But I take all three of them every time I do my eyeshadow. And I clean them off on a white, uh... rag and usually this is a lot faster y'all because I'm not telling y'all nothing but I just take it and I move it around on it and get the excess off of it because I do change the colors that I use now if you use the same colors every day you don't have to do this but I like to change mine up and um, so I just kind of take out most of the color off the brush now I like to start with a middle, like a middle color in first, then I go uh, light, and then I go dark, okay? And then I blend with this large one. So we're going to use today for my middle color, let's do something fun, and let's do this color right here. It's kind of an orange. Did I, did I point to the right one? No, this color. You know what? I don't want to do that color. I'm going to do the one at the top because it's got a little bit more brown in it. Let's do this one today. And I have to use my mirror to do this or I'll be looking crazy. So I take it and I have deep set eyes. So I take the this color and I put right in the crevice. And I, and I bring it up enough that you can actually see it when I open my eyes. And then, the rule of thumb for eyeshadows, you're not supposed to get it past this area right here. So, where my fingers are covering it up, you're not supposed to paint. Okay? You're supposed to go from the top of your eye to the tip of your eyebrow. That's where you're supposed to trim your eyebrow to. And your eyeshadow shouldn't come past that. Because a lot of people bring it all the way out in here and you're not supposed to. And then I put a little bit of this same color right there. And you can notice that when I'm doing this, I'm patting more than I'm blending. Swiping it. I want to make sure I got it where I want it, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> Crazy. All right, now we're going to go with the dark color. And I'll use um, brown for the dark. And I just put it right here in this little corner. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm trying to. Let y'all see at the same time I'm having to look. Now, I ain't no color in... I'm not an expert or anything like that, like some of these people that do this for a living. Um, and then I take uh, my real bright, shiny colors, and I do the top part here. Here. And here. Let me look and see if that's enough. Let's put a little more. All right, it's time to blend. So, um, Amy's want me to pay her back some money. All right, I'm going to take this and clean it again because it's got that orange on it, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a blend, and then I, we're going to be done with my eyeshadow. And if I were doing this just for myself and I didn't have y'all on here, it would be so much faster, trust me.
Sorry. I keep forgetting it. Let me respond to her, y'all. Well, I'll let her come up here and talk to me. I'm live and she don't know it. She bought a yearbook with her checking account money, so she wants me to pay her back for it. I'm sure she's wanting to go out for lunch with her friends because she's already home from school. She only has one class at the high school. All right, now we're going to do eye um, liner. And I used to always just put it above my eye and below my eye. My kids started getting on to me, so now I do it a little different because they pitched such a fit about it. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Sorry, y'all. That girl, she started laughing when I told her I was live on a broadcast. All right, I got this color the other day at um, Walmart. It's Revlon. I, the only liners I use, period, is Revlon Color Stay for lip liner and eyeliner because they work better than anybody else's to me. And I bought lots of them. And I bought expensive ones and I bought liquid ones. I got to stand up to do this. Y'all know how girls are. So my girls started getting on to me about the way I did my liner. And I would just take it, and I would put it right along the edge here and right along the bottom here. And they said, Mama, that looks ridiculous. So they told me to take it and do it this way. So this is what I've been doing. So I just kind of close my eye, and I get it on that rim underneath there. And when you do that, it goes up above the lashes at the same time. You just kind of go, go over it a little bit. Can y'all see it? And then this one, I do the same thing on the bottom. So this is what I've been doing for them. Sorry, but I keep saying sorry. I know that's going to drive somebody crazy. Why does she keep saying sorry? Y'all, I get... Women can be the hatefulest people on the face of the earth. Y'all just have no idea how many ugly comments I get every day. And I know that I shouldn't tell y'all about them because y'all think I just griping, but they get to you every once in a while. Okay. Let me do this one. If you pull it down, it's easier. This is the prettiest color, y'all. It's so pretty. Look at it. I'm trying to find the... Oh, here y'all are. Look how pretty that color is. I'll show it to you on my hand. Isn't that pretty? I think it's so pretty. Okay. Let me bring this thing back out like it's supposed to be. Oh, it's already that way. I didn't know it. Okay. There's my eyeliner done. Now we're going to do mascara. I like... Stia, st oh, let's see. I never say it right. It's, let me put on my glasses because I can't see it. It's called Huge by S-T-I-L-A, okay? And it's great. But I also have one that's cheap that I could show y'all that's in my purse that works really good too. I might show y'all that one. Because this is $20, but it lasts a long time. So to me, it's worth it. But I go to um, Ulta to get it. And if y'all haven't bought your nieces anything for Christmas, y'all get them an Ulta gift card so they can go get them some makeup. Because nothing makes a girl happier than looking pretty. But if you do, go through my Amazon links because I have a link right on there where you can get one through Amazon and they'll mail it to your house. Look at there. I'm not going to get that cheaper one. 
I'll take y'all with me so y'all won't be bored. Um, look, this is all my hair bows. Now that my hair's grown out, I pulled them all out, and then I went and I bought some, too. There's one of my hair pieces. And, um, here's what I'm gonna wear at Christmas. <laughs> While I'm cooking. We're just gonna get my pocketbook. It's right here. I think my husband's already gone for the day to exercise. The only chore I had for him to do today, he's already done. And he has hit the road, Jack. I, gave, I told him to put fuzzies on the bottom of the feet of the chair so they wouldn't scratch the uh, wood because every once in a while you really need to do that, you know. And you need to replace them. Now, I'm going to show you this. Unless I stuck it in the car, y'all won't get to see it after we've went all the way in there. No, I've got it. This is maize, okay? And this is voluminous superstar red carpet black. It don't even tell me. L'Oreal. It's L'Oreal. So, I'm going to let y'all see the difference. Uh, if you're going to buy a cheaper one, you can get this at the store, and I'm going to show you why. Especially if you got, if you don't have a lot of lashes like I do, um, and you want to make them more bold, you know. Um, look at this stuff. It comes with a wand that has the fiber in it on one side that's white. I was aggravating Chris one day, and I had this in the car. And I said, oh, I don't have my mascara on, because I'm, I'm real bad about putting on my makeup and forgetting to put on my mascara. And so we were in the car, and I said, oh, I've got this. And I put it on, and I didn't put the black over it. And I said, how do you like this mascara, Chris? He went, oh, my Lord, what have you done? Why do you have that like that? And I went, I just started laughing. I said, don't you think it's pretty? He said, no. So you put this on first. See it? So if you don't have many, this would be something good to get. And then you put the black on over it. And it's affordable. I read one, one time somebody said, why don't girls, why can't women put on their mascara unless their mouth is open? I thought that was funny. I'll try to do it with my mouth closed. Oh, I just messed up. It just takes more work when you gotta do the extra step. <laughs> I'm blind. And then I like to brush mine up, up, up with the brush and it makes them, uh, then you don't need an eyelash curler if you got short lashes. See how they look? Um, and that's not, you don't have to spend a lot of money and it still looks good. Now, what I do when I'm, when I'm done is I get a Q-tip. I can't do my makeup without Q-tips and cotton balls. And so I get a Q-tip and I clean up my mess where I have, uh, you know, gotten too much makeup somewhere. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I take the Q-tip and I get off. On the top and the bottom. This one probably won't be as much of a mess, maybe. But what do you think? There's two different ones. And so now I can put on my glasses for y'all. Well, I gotta do my eyebrows. 
See them? Okay, let's do my eyebrows right quick and then we'll do lips. Lips. This is another uh, Revlon. Revlon's the only one I use for sticks. Okay, and I like to put, this is Auburn, and I like to put a little bit here. I go up under here a little bit and a little bit along the top. And I actually go and I have my eyebrows waxed at the nail salon. You can get your eyebrows waxed and not even get your nails done for like six or eight dollars. You don't have to spend money if you want to sit around the house and do it, but boy, they do a good job. They pluck them, they wax them and everything, and they and they look good. So I just put a little color in them is all I do. And then I take the other side of it, the brush part, and I brush them really, really good so that you don't see those lines of color. Okay? Okay. <sighs> now I can put my glasses on. And we can do my lips. Lips. Um, I cannot do anything without this. Either Mary Kay Lip Primer or MAC Lip Primer. Because my lips bleed like crazy. And so I put this on first. And if you're going to use a lip liner, you need to put it on while this is still moist. Okay? I have learned that lesson. So if you're going to use a lip liner, right now all I have in here is, I think my favorite one I don't have in here. Every time I go to the store and I want to get a Revlon, my favorite lip liner color is Raisin. Revlon Raisin. Uh, because it looks good with red, and it looks good with brown, and it looks good with peach. Any color you put with it. Um, so this is Brick. It's about the same thing. It's an Ulta, and I bought it just to see if I like it. I ain't that crazy about it, but I'm going to put it on just for y'all to see. I go right around the edge. In the corner. See my terrible lip lines right there? Okay. And then I fill it in. Now, instead of doing that, I'm going to show you a couple of things I really like. And one of them is a liquid lipstick. If you use it, you can't use it real, um, you can't use it too dark. Let me find it. I got to find the color I like. I like this brown in the, in the winter. And it's not that you can't use it too dark. It's that you can't put it on too thick or it's very uncomfortable to wear. Okay? So, put it on. Now, I already messed up. Because I'm trying to use this as a mirror instead of my regular mirror. And wherever you paint this stuff, it ain't going nowhere. Here, let me get my other mirror. Well, that's not too bad. One mess up on the bottom and we can fix it with a Q-tip. See, I couldn't do nothing without my Q-tips. Now, this is a liquid lipstick. And it dries real dry. And I found this in Bell's really cheap, an off-brand, and I love it. My sister found some the other day, and hers has got a high sheen. It's so pretty, y'all, for the holidays. So what I do is I put on the brown, and then I use this, this gold Mary Kay uh, gloss, 
And I just put, when you use gloss, you shouldn't put it all over your lips. You should just put it right here. And then just rub them together. And then that gloss is going to distribute out evenly. Don't put it in the cracks and make a big mess and it's all com uncomfortable. Okay. Um, did y'all like my video? Let me... I'm going to show y'all this. See how that looks, that green? We're going to take it off my hand with this that I showed y'all to start with. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do today is I gotta clean out my closet today and um, I'm gonna go to the store today. I hope y'all got a chance to look at Hobby Lobby. I've got another video that's gonna show you all of their line of their dishes and like their kitchen stuff. That's Christmas, it's really, really pretty y'all. So I hope that y'all enjoy it. Um, I stood around in there the other day for over an hour, my feet were killing me. And I kept thinking that Chris was going to call me and say, well, I'm done working out, and he never did. So I finally got so exhausted, I just left, and I called him, and he went, I am in the truck. So, um, I want to see my eyeshadow. That is a Morph palette from Ulta. So the most expensive, the things I have to get at Ulta is the shadow, um, the mascara, and the concealer. And everything else, I just buy regular grocery, you know, store brand. All right? Um, if y'all want to, y'all can help me clean out my closet today. Y'all tell me if y'all want to or not. Let me tell you what I got to do. I have got to um, get in my closet today, and I have got to get rid of about half my clothes. I wish that somebody was local and needed my size. So what I'm going to do, um, I don't want to ship them to anybody. It costs too much. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get in my closet and uh, start pulling out stuff. And I'm going to take it all to Goodwill. And I could do some of that, take it by Goodwill, before I go to the grocery store. Um, Teresa says she wishes she could apply makeup that good. You can, Teresa. All you need is a 15 or 20 times magnifying glass. And I'm telling you, get you some good brushes, and it makes all the difference in the world. Uh, get you two colors of foundation. Get you a darker and a lighter so that you can just highlight your face with the foundation. And do it like I did, and, it, and, and you're going to be able to do it. My daughter's the one that showed me how to do my eyeshadow because she watches all these other shows, you know. But um, if you buy the brushes that I have, and I, I think I am going to make y'all, uh, maybe tonight I'll do it. Sit down and make a new tab on Colored Belly Cooks that's beauty. And then I'll try to put some of my favorite stuff in there if y'all want to get something for Christmas. Uh, my church does not have a clothes closet. But um, I just take them to Goodwill because locals work there and locals shop there for Christmas. And maybe some lady will get a pretty shirt um, or blouse or jacket that I really don't need or that I've outgrown because really and truly I need to be in a 1x to 2x and I've got a lot of extra larges that I can't really wear anymore. Um, y'all have a blessed day. Um, I'm going to take y'all in my closet but I want y'all to understand that I do like to shop and my mama gave me tons of jewelry and tons of clothes. So remember that too. I still wear, I even got a few things that was my granny's, like that Moomoo I wear. But now my granny wasn't big. So I got a couple of gowns that were my granny's. I think I'll show them to y'all. I know y'all been on here for a while, but what else y'all got to do on a Monday, right? So I'm going to show y'all um, a couple of things. I'm going to show y'all my granny's gowns. Let me go open these blinds to make it a little bit more light in here. My husband wears, let me turn down this fan too. My husband wears these overalls and he hangs them up over there. And I fixed a place in here, y'all, for, um, I put this behind the door. 
he puts his little thing he puts his shoes on with, and there's my apron ties, but I put it behind the door so he would hang these here instead of laying them around my uh, bedroom, and he does it anyway. This is all my jewelry. I put it on um, hooks, see? And I just hang it on the wall, and that way I can tell what colors I have. And I think I got plenty. What do y'all think? But most of it's $5 paparazzi. Uh, there's not a whole lot of expensive anything there. The, about, the best jewelry I've got was my mama's because it's Brighton. And she wore this all the time. Um, this was mama's. It was Brighton. And um, this was a Brighton that I've had forever. Look at that chain, how terrible it looks. It needs to be cleaned. And I think all of these are, did I show you? Yeah, all of these are Brighton. But most, all this stuff is cheap. Now, these were mamas that I never wear them because they're so showy. That's how mama was. But see how pretty they are? I never wear those. Never. Of course, they're not real. Um. Anyhow, anywho, I'm going to show y'all Granny's, uh, couple of granny's gowns. I can't wear them anymore because I'm too big. But this was one. It's a Kim Rogers Intimate from probably a long time ago from Penny's. And it's white. Isn't it pretty? So let me show it to y'all up close. It's just a long, uh, you know, a long gown. Let's see. Put y'all here. So I got that one. That was my Granny B's. That's Granny Benefield that lived in Collard Valley. My dad's mom. And then I've got... Oh, stop it, Marcy. I've got this one that was Granny B's. And this one... It's called a carriage court. I have no idea where that came from. If y'all do, you can tell me. It's very, very thin, like she wore it to death. Um, it's another white one, and it's hard to even see the pattern on it. It's like a really light embroidered uh, flower on it. And then it has lace around the sleeve here. But it's so thin, you can almost see through it. I'm sure you can see through it. But she wore it to bed, I'm sure, for many, 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 many years, you know. And so this is another gown I've got that's Granny B's. When I went over there, I only wanted a couple of her uh, gowns. Um, I don't remember getting much of anything else. And then, of course, my mama, the only thing I got that was my mama's uh, that I wanted was a candle. Because I remembered um, dusting her, y'all think it's crazy, but if any of y'all grandmothers and you give your kids chores to do, my mama would give me a toothbrush with pledge. And she would say, go around and polish all the cracks in my furniture and get all the dust out of them. And I just thought that was so much fun. And so one of the things I would always desk was her china cabinet, okay? And um, let me show y'all what she had in there. Because I've told some of y'all about it, but I don't know if you've seen it. But she had this mushroom in there when I was a kid. And I would um, clean. And I guess the mushroom just caught my eye, you know, as a kid. She had lots of things in there, and they were actually a pastor and a pastor's wife. I don't really know if somebody gave this to her or why she had it, but I just thought it was really pretty, and that was really the only thing I wanted out of my mama's house. I didn't want anything that was worth anything. I, I wanted this candle because it was worth more to me than anything else. Um, so, Sometimes we think, oh, all the stuff we're getting, you know, our kids will want. And most of the, most of the stuff, even my mother's, I didn't want all that stuff. We, it, there's usually just one or two items that we remember and, you know, that might be important to us. But the rest of it, you know, you, don't, you can't take everything or your house will be, like, so crowded, right? 
So I have to take that to uh, Georgia with us when we move. The only other thing I plan on taking, of course, is the the island um, table. I'm not taking the bookshelves because they're worn out and they came from Walmart. And I'm taking this cabinet right here because it was my mother's and it has all of her elephants in it. So I'm taking it when we move. But most everything else I'm selling. So they, she has really pretty elephants in here. And so I wanna take this with me. I'll show you all her elephants. I'll take a few of my Christmas decorations. I'm even thinking about not taking my china because I don't use it. I don't really want to put it in the new house and display it. It is uh, Royal Dalton, Old Country Roses. It's worth a lot of money. I could care less about it. Not really. I mean, I may keep like one place setting or something. I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep it. I got to think on that one. Uh, but for the most part, a lot of my uh, kitchen stuff, of course, I'll take with me. But uh, I've got to decide what else. I'm not taking a whole lot. I hope y'all have a blessed day. And um, thanks for watching, Real Southern Woman, where we love God and we're not ashamed to say it, right? Y'all have a blessed day and thanks for spending a little time with me at home today. Bye.